Okay, I'm back. So now, lesson five, people. Lesson five, the power of exponential growth. You did this from last week, and you compared company one, which had a late fee of, I believe, $10 per day. No, I'm sorry, $5 per day, right? And then company two, it was a penny, starting with the penny first day, and then it doubled. And as it turned out, company two was an exponential growth and company one was a linear growth and so today we're going to look at um sort of talking about um similar um context problems as in lesson four let's move to the next page so i want to start and go over here to this page right here so if you're in your books it's example two and you can see that they give you the concept of two different tables, and we're going to graph two different functions. This first function, this first function is a linear, a linear function. This function right here is an exponential function. So we're going to take a moment here and we're going to see how they compare with one another. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out the tables and then we're going to look at the graphs. I'm going to do the linear function in red, the exponential function in green. And let's see how they compare. Check my numbers as I do this. So here's our, the graph, when you plug those numbers into this function, linear function, you can see it's a straight line. Now let's compare the exponential function. And this is where you're gonna need a calculator, possibly, because what you're actually doing is taking two and you're putting a negative two. And you might not be aware, this is actually the same thing as one over two squared, which is one four. And so one fourth goes here, one fourth, also known as 0.25 as a decimal, okay? Put negative one, put negative one after this one, I get easier. Two to the negative one is equal to one over two to the one or just one half, one half. Put in zero, two to the zero is always, any number to the zero power is one, put in one, this is where it becomes easy, and you get two. Put in two, you get four. Put in three, and you get eight. Now we plot these points. Negative two, one fourth. Negative one, one half. Zero, one. One, two, two, up four, three, up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you can see this one appears to have a different path. And you can see that the exponential growth appears to get very high, very fast, whereas the red line is going to stay constant. Exponential growth versus linear growth. Okay. All right.
So, in summary, to finish this out, <clears throat> lesson four, we should be able to understand the concept of simple interest. You are going to also deal with the concept of compound interest, which we will continue to talk about. Interest is calculated once per year on a current amount borrowed or invested. Each period, the interest becomes the part of the principal. And we'll look at that in class. But lesson four dealt with the concept, started with the idea of simple interest. And remember, interest being calculated with this formula. And then lesson five, in lesson five, it's the, it's basically wanting you to recognize the difference between a linear and an exponential growth. And we saw in our problem that we did earlier, the exponential growth can grow fast um, at a higher rate. So that concludes our video and we'll come back and do some work.